In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with and your spirit. Spirit. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Father. Father. Today we gather as a nation to give thanks to God for the many blessings bestowed upon us. We gather today as church to give thanks to God for our salvation, our most precious gift. So let us pause for a moment and think about those times when we were not thankful for all that Christ has done for us. Lord Jesus, you are God's gift who heals us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are God's gift who saves us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are God's gift who strengthens us. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Father, all-powerful, your gifts of love are countless, and your goodness infinite. As we come before you on Thanksgiving Day with gratitude for your kindness, Open our hearts to have concern for every man, woman, and child, so that we may share your gifts in loving service. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Sirach. And now, bless the God of all, who has done wondrous things on earth, who fosters people's growth from their mother's womb and fashions them according to his will. May he grant you joy of heart and may peace abide among you. May his goodness toward us endure in Israel to deliver us in our days. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to Thank you for your faithfulness alone. Lord, I 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 thank you for your faithful
give thanks to your name for your merciful love and your faithfulness on the day we called you answered me you increased the strength of my soul Lord I thank you for your faithfulness and love Lord I thank you for your faithfulness and love Lord I thank you Lord I thank you Thank you, O Lord, when they hear the words from your mouth. They shall sing of the ways of the Lord. How great is the glory of the Lord. Lord, I thank you for your faithfulness alone. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you were called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The word of the Lord. with you. And with your a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. 
As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten persons with leprosy met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go show yourselves to the priests. As they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned, glorifying God in a loud voice. And he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were there not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, today we celebrate Thanksgiving, and, and it's a Thanksgiving that we have not... It's going to be very, very different Thanksgiving this year. Let's just leave it at that. You know, the last time we had a Thanksgiving like this, it was 1918 um, when they had a pandemic going on. But um, when we are people of faith, people of goodwill, people of hope, you know, even when we go through turbulent times, we know our Lord is with us. And we know our Lord is always there walking beside us as our friend, as our partner. And we give thanks to our Lord for all that he has done for us, for sending his son into this world so that we might accept eternal life, for bringing peace and, and assigning us to be his disciples and helping him to follow and fulfill his original mission, which is to build this kingdom up of God here on earth. And in our example today of the, of the gospel, we hear of the ten lepers. And um, they're a mixed bag of people. You know, we know that one's a Samaritan. We don't know what the other nine were. Um, but they are separated. They're outside their community. They're no longer welcome in the community because they had a very highly contagious disease. So they could not be anywhere near anybody else except for those that had the same disease. And so for them, out of respect, they still were very respectful and they had hope and they had faith in Jesus. And all they asked Jesus was have pity on us. And Jesus did. And he sent them away. He didn't tell them that they were healed. He just said, go show yourself to the priest, which was a big deal because they weren't supposed to go into the community. So nine of them got caught up in that and did as they were instructed. One realized that they were all cleansed and came back and fell at the feet of Jesus and said, thanks. Thank you. And Jesus said, your faith has saved you. So it's times like this where we have to have faith. You know, sometimes during a pandemic, we feel like we're separated from the community. We're separated a little bit from our families. You know, we can't all get together like we normally do around feast days, you know, on special holidays. But we make the best of it. You know, if the weather was nicer, you know, you could get together. If you wore masks and ate outside, you make the best of it. And you know that your family loves you and you love them. And so think about how thankful we need to be every day. Think about this day. What do I need to thank God for? What have I forgotten to thank God for? When am I like these other nine? that are given so much and take it for granted? When am I like that one that realizes how important and how God acts in my life and when I come back and fall at his knees and say thank you? You know, we have 
a couple of different ways of looking at things. You know, the cup's half full or the cup's half empty. And a lot of times, you know, when everything seems to be going well, we think very positively and we think the cup is half full. But then when things get tough and we have to face struggles, we start to look at that cup and go, oh my God, it's almost gone. It's half empty. Why aren't you here, God? Why aren't you doing this, God? Why aren't you doing that, God? God never loses faith in us. We just got to make sure we keep our faith in him. And he will lead us through this. We will get through it. And we know that Christ will be there every step of the way with that spirit leading us and guiding us. So give thanks to God today. Give thanks for your family and your friends. Give thanks for those poor turkeys that you're all putting on your tables. Poor things. <laughs> but most of all, give thanks that God sent his son so that we all could have eternal life. Knowing that our God is the giver of every good gift, let us turn to him in thanksgiving. For God's holy church, may it grow in holiness, peace, and humility. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For nations of the world blessed with abundance, may they share what they have been given so that all might prosper. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those in need of healing, may they seek Jesus and receive his blessings. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For farmers and all those who provide us with our food, that we may cherish their labor and care for the earth that provides our bounty. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are hungry and homeless within our own nation, may they be granted safe shelter and nourishing food. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> For families that are not able to gather in this holiday because of the pandemic, that they may find creative ways to connect and share their love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of Marco Antonio Arcos Fuentes and Marco Antonio Arcos Nava, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they will enjoy the blessings of eternal banquet. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we thank you for your abundant generosity. Hear our prayers that in sharing our prosperity with others, all may know your goodness and blessings. And we ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Oh. 
my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all this holy church. God, our Father, from whose hand we have received generous gifts so that we might learn to share your blessings in gratitude, accept these gifts of bread and wine and let the perfect sacrifice of Jesus draw us closer to all our brothers and sisters in our human family. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and thanks, right and just, and our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly. We pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, James, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your children. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, 
and may praise and glorify you through your son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At our Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Let us offer to each other a sign of Christ's peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not, I'm not worthy that, that you should enter under my room, room. but only, only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Those who were in the dark are thankful for the sunlight. We who live, we who die are grateful for this gift. Thankful for God's Let us pray. In this celebration, O oh Lord our God, you have shown us the depths of your love for all your children. Help us, we pray, to reach out in love to all your people so that we may share with them the good things of time and eternally, <clears throat> eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'll leave you with... Uh, um, on this Thanksgiving Day, one famous prayer that St. Teresa of Avila is known for. It's uh, as she was walking along the grounds, she fell into a mud puddle. And she said, thank you, God. This is how you treat your friends. No wonder you don't have a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs>
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve our Lord. Thanks be to God. Please remember to lower your kneelers before leaving today.